Hey guys, welcome to another amazing Arduino project. I've always liked to use game controllers in my projects. So this time I present a robot controller inspired by one of the coolest game controllers of the 90s. Basically, I used the outline of the N64 controller to make a PCB, four buttons on the right grip, analog stick on the left, a buzzer to play some tones according to the commands, a toggle switch to turn on, another toggle switch to change the function of the buttons and the stick, the middle grip is reserved for an Arduino Nano, and the commands are sent remotely by the nrf 24 lo one module. The work started by making the shapefile for the PCB using Inkscape. And with fretting, I used that file made with Inkscape as the basis for the PCB project. Arranged all the parts on the board. And with the PCB project complete, I exported the Gerber files to send to the PCB manufacturer. The PCBs for this project were ordered from PCBWay.com, where you can get your own professional PCBs at a good price. Just click on PCB instant quote, insert the size of your PCB, select quantity, you can choose from several colors of solder mask, and other finishing options and click on calculate to get your instant code. So visit pcbway.com right now and start making some cool PCB projects. This time I chose blue solder mask, it is actually my first PCB with this color. I'm glad how it turned out, it's cool to see the routing. Silk screen also looks very cool. So let's solder the components, starting with the four 12 mm buttons. Then the analog stick. Now the buzzer. And cut the long legs. Now the spin header. And the spin headers for the nano board. I made this base to make the controller more comfortable to handle because it will be bad to handle by touching the pins of the components. It's made with two layers of high impact polystyrene. Using the PCB as a guide, I draw the outline directly on the polystyrene sheet.
With the utility knife I cut the unwanted pieces, leaving an edge of about 1mm. The two layers are joined with instant adhesive. Then I remove the excess material from the edges, first with utility knife. and then with sandpaper and holes to attach the battery holder and standoffs. The base also has these brackets for the toggle switches and the NRF24 L01 module. The last step on making the base is the painting, first with spray primer and finished with matte black. Now let's put it all together! Now let's take a quick look at the code. For example, when I press the blue button, the controller sends 17. When I press the red button, the controller sends 18. And the receiver will take these values and the Arduino will perform the actions assigned to them. I made this controller to use it mainly with RC cars based on Arduino and small robots.
but it can be used to control other devices and actuators, like servo motors and I can change the speed with the select toggle switch I can control NeoPixels Anyway, it can be used to control pretty much everything based on Arduino and nrf 24 lo one That's it guys! All files for this controller are available for download, the link is in the description. Don't forget to leave your comment and like, and subscribe to follow the upcoming cool projects. Thank you!